Well, Mary Scorbitakos is a doctoral candidate in the Department of Nutritional Sciences at the University of Toronto. Uh, Ms. Scorbitakos, good to have you here. Let's talk about sugar. So how much of a revelation is this study? Well, our study looked at sugar levels in children's meals from chain restaurants, and we found that when compared to the WHO's new recommendations, 19% of kids' meals exceed that 10% recommendation, and 50% of kids' meals exceed the 5% recommendation. So what does this mean for kids? Well, it means when you're dining out, uh, you may be ending up with four days' worth of sugar, but at the same time, you could be having a meal with no added sugars whatsoever. Mm. So, uh, let's talk about what this means. Uh, cutting about two-thirds of a, an average person's sugar intake, how, how can we do that and how realistic is it in, in, as we attempt to do that? It surely sounds unachievable, but in fact, it, it is quite possible. The important thing to realize is that this new recommendation is for added sugars. So those are sugars that are not naturally occurring in foods. They're foods that are being added by the manufacturer. So in fact, if you're eating real whole foods, things like fruits and vegetables, whole grains, unprocessed meats, you're not getting any added sugars whatsoever. You're getting added sugars when you're eating processed foods and of course when you're eating obvious sources or drinking things like sugar sweetened beverages or having desserts. So while it sounds like it's impossible, it's not. I think the challenge is really um, changing our habits. We've gotten into the habit of eating sweet food. We're all hardwired to eat sweet food and it's a matter of training ourselves to think of these foods as something that's a treat. We talk about the Paleolithic diet every so often, and sweet is not something that was generally in that diet. When we go back ancestrally, uh, we don't find sweet things in the menu of uh, uh, you know, uh, cavemen, exactly. for instance. When you look at nature, um, our source of sweets is fruits. And in fact, it's interesting, when you look at these foods, you never see sugar when it's not packaged with fiber. So in, in a certain way, nature is designed in such a way that our body is better able to process the sugar, whereas when we're eating sugar in processed foods, we don't necessarily have the fiber present, and that's why we have uh, adverse health effects resulting from the consumption of these foods. Fascinating. And uh, where can people quickly get more information? Well, I'd say check out the WHO's new guidelines online as well. Uh, you can go online and find m lots of information about sugar levels of different foods. And the federal government is considering adding added sugars to the nutrition facts table. So hopefully Canadians will have more information about the sugar levels in their foods in the future. Mary Scorbitakos uh, is a nutritional sciences doctoral candidate at the University of Toronto. Good to talk to you. Good speaking with you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.